school bells ring in the Syrian capital. Young people here in Damascus have endured a civil war for most, if not all, of their lives. But this school year, they also face the added risks of COVID-19. The fear is real. We are all scared, but the Ministry of Education has taken the necessary steps to protect our children. I hope the medical advice that we give becomes a lifestyle and culture including social distancing, using face masks, not using each other's stuff, not drinking from another's bottle, and waving hello. I wish families adopt this type of lifestyle. The city's elementary school supervisor, Milad Shiha, says fears of COVID-19 drive a new curriculum that includes social distancing and personal hygiene. In addition to prevention, she says, schools have a plan in case of infection. If we suspect that 5% of students are infected with coronavirus, we'll close the school for 15 days, and it will be sterilized every day, and then students can return to school. School Health Department Supervisor Zina Mahmoud says officials will proactively monitor students' health. We will follow up with students in case they did not go to school, and we will follow up with their parents on the reason for their absence and if it was because of a medical condition. The Syrian news agency reports nearly 4 million students recently returned to school. Syria so far has about 3,500 confirmed coronavirus cases. 152 of those have been fatal. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News, Washington.